the rest of the weekend leading into the work week. Well, we're going to be sitting quiet here in the Great Lakes region. Really, the only thing that's going to be active across the U.S. is the potential Atlantic with that storm, Tropical Storm 10, and as well as a few other areas of uh, low pressure that may turn into some more active uh, weather patterns there. Uh, down south, but otherwise, again, quiet conditions. And it's really started today. Yesterday, we were still dealing with humidity and some clouds and even some drizzle. Today was fully dry, and it turned into a nice evening with some decent sunshine. Boaters, very active. Great weekend for it with a uh, little breezy winds out of the north, especially along the lakeshore. Otherwise, temperatures comfortable. And again, we caught a good sunset even with the last of the clouds pushing on through. That's what we're tracking here for the next several days is a lot of sunshine. So it's clear skies, calm winds tonight allows for that cooler air as humidity continues to step back. We're going to bottom out here tomorrow. It's going to allow for our most refreshing day with full sunshine and those temperatures only in the low to mid 70s. Next week, we just track low rain chances. The only one really focused on Tuesday. And even that's trending a little bit lighter here, at least in West Michigan. And then cooler than average temps last all through the rest of August. And then the moment we hit September, looks like we're going to warm things right back up. Live radar right now across the entire state. Things are really quiet. The cloud deck really extends from Green Bay to Chicago, far southwest Michigan, and then over towards Cleveland, and it's continuing to push to the south and west. So conditions are improving here for a full sunshine day tomorrow. Notice the dew points here in the uh, northern lower Michigan and the UP, almost to the 30s up near Hancock, something we haven't seen in quite some time. This is really dry air setting up in our dew points are going to continue to drop. We'll be in the low 50s here for the start of Sunday and on through most of Monday as well. We'll spike up on Tuesday with that increase of rain chance behind it. More dry air settles in and again, keeping our temperatures on the cooler side. Here's a look at low temperatures tonight. Upper 40s north of I-96 along I-96 to the south will be in the low 50s, but still some of the coolest air we've seen uh, not only this month, uh, but uh, really since early June. And future track is going to support more cool air with a lot of clear skies and a northeasterly wind. That northeasterly wind is our drier wind here in West Michigan. And that trend continues into the start of the work week. Notice full sunshine again outside of a few pop-up clouds on Monday. And then this rain up here to the north. That'll be our next rain chance. But things are starting to trend like it'll mostly clip northern lower Michigan rather than getting into West Michigan. So things are, uh, again, looking drier there. So the northeast wind keeps temperatures along the lakeshore the warmest here uh, across the area, 73 in Grand Rapids, 75 in Kalamazoo. But look at this. We've had two days. We had back-to-back -back Wednesday, Thursday of 90 degree or above. Uh, we normally see two 90 degree days in the month of August. But days below 80 degrees, 14, we normally only see 12. So that's going to add to our number here as we end the month with temps in the 70s. Again, one rain chance on Tuesday, not looking like much. But it's a cool air until we get to Labor Day weekend where we get back to the 80s.